back, following on from last week where we actually painted most of the front end, uh, did the forks, uh, the fork blowers and the top yoke, bottom yoke. Let me show you where we're at at the moment. Right, so that's had most of the week to actually dry. That should come out quite well. Quite pleased with the results. The actual tubes, the stanchions themselves, I've just given basically a light clean up. I haven't gone mad, I haven't polished them. I say it was mainly the bottoms. Obviously I cut the mounting bracket for the mud guard off. So I'm gonna to have to make a a bracket that will come up from this one to mount the mud guard. But everything else really pleased with. So today this will probably run into a two-part video to be continued into the next one. We're gonna start putting the front end back together, get the wheel sorted. Still need to give it a I've given it a clean, but I just need to give it a quick polish just to bring the paint up. And basically get the front end back in, get the wheel sorted, all the forks back in. I've dug out the old mount that I made some weeks ago. See if I can adapt this and cut this down to actually fit the COSO. See if that will work. But basically that's where I am at the moment so uh, let's start getting this all back together. Alright, I've just put the bottom bearing in, that's all nicely greased up. Everything's in a line ready to go back in. I've also just greased up in here where it will sit. And I need to do the same on the top one. Right, so that's the bearings in. Now the cover plate. Bottom locking nut. Top locking up, remember in the spacer. If I should show you this, there is a little bit just there. There is actually a groove just in there. You can see that locates and sits in there.
tightens down nicely. All right, these are the bolts that actually came out. They're a Torx head, but they've got a hole in the center. So that's what you actually need. Uh, I've got that. Luckily enough, I managed to pick up a set a long time ago. That's the one missing there, a TT40. That's nice you back in. That's the ignition back in, just pop the wires through there for now. So now I can start locking this down. Alright, for the bolts, I did give them a bit of a clean up, but they didn't come out too brilliantly. But I do have these. So I'm going to use these instead. I've got a kind of a collection of them, so. I think they look better. There you go, that's the difference. So I'm gonna go with go with these. I did forget was obviously when I sprayed these I didn't cover the insides up so I've just had to give them a quick uh, rub down it's obviously the thickness of the paint Obviously the other thing is normally these forks would be slightly higher where you're using the actual second clamp. Obviously when you're using this one, the forks will come up slightly higher, but as I'm not using it, I'm just going to go flush. So that's the forks nicely back in. Obviously next thing I need to do is make sure they're in line. So I'm going to use the spindle bolt. Alright, just use the spindle bolt to get the level. To make sure they are straight, they're not angled. Again, I have to clean it up just uh, on the inside. seems fine and level so now I can bolt these in, bolt these down again top yoke uh, bolts I did try and clean them up but I'm gonna go new so let's get those in
again for the bottom yoke ones. Alright, that's all back together. Alright, so next job is to get this wheel polished up. Just going to actually polish the paintwork. So that's the next job. Right, thing I use for this, got some medium cutting compound and a polish and this handy little piece of kit, battery operated. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can get these. So it just gives that a nice rub in. All right, so that's one side done, but to give you a comparison. That side I haven't done, so I've got this one to do. It does come out quite well. All right, so that's the wheel done. Back on with the discs.
All right, so one side, same again with the other side. That's it for the wheel, ready to go back in. Obviously the main thing to remember with these wheels, make sure you get the direction in the right place. The actual wheel direction. Because, as you know, exactly the same both sides. There is no difference, obviously there's no speedo hub. So you have to make sure you get the wheel in the right way. All right, if you can see that there, that's the bit that says rotation. So I need to go in that way.